So um, Meadowhurst is my little um, public elementary school down the street. And the short story is that eight years ago, my uh, soon-to-be ex-husband was, doing, um, was supposed to do all of the research on schools. And then he came to me and he told me he was too busy at work and that I was going to have to do all that. And I was like, oh my god, you cannot drop this in my lap. That is ridiculous, this project. And he said, well, you're not working right now. Go make yourself useful. And those are my two little kids. So I said, fine, I'll go figure it out. So we went down the street to this little public elementary school where no one knew who had ever been inside. And he said, did Principal, uh, she said to us, what would it take for your kids to come out to school here? And we said, well, that's very interesting. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll let you know. So we came back the next day with this five-page written list of all the things that we thought would have to be in place in order to make a neighborhood work back in mass. And Susan read our list, and she said, well, let's get going, guys. It's going to be a really busy year. So we organized, and we put all of these moms into parks, uh, into teams. And the first thing we did is we guessed up the outside. So these are outside doors, and this is the inside, there is not an inch now of this little public elementary school that has not been licked by a neighborhood artist. Um, we made friends with all the design guys in the city. It's all a bunch of fabulous gaming, and now when we're done with stuff, they just give us their stuff. Um, this was Atlantis, this um, scary passage with Del Masque passing away on the way to work. Now all the little kids swim to lunch, which is very, very cute. And uh, every school in America should be this delicious. This is not rocket science. Um, we partnered with neighborhood businesses. So here we partnered with Unbridge Bookstore, and we did a free reading hour for the neighborhood for all of the kids. Here's Jeff Garland from Curb, who came into Pitch Hit one time. Um, but we basically made friends with everybody in the neighborhood who was a stakeholder. Um, we made friends with our politician. He was Ron Emanuel. He uh, launched his uh, political campaign, from Meadowhurst, and his very first act of Congress was to come back and open our community school. Um, but we made friends with everybody, and that's really important because schools don't do that. Here we made friends with the Chamber of Commerce. Now all of the events in the neighborhood take place at the school in the front play lot. So egg hunts, uh, pony rides, uh, pet fest days, whatever it was, now all of that energy takes place at the school. We started a farmer's market with Bensadon USA. They run 600 markets in France. We were the first Chicago market. Now Bensadon runs the metro market. They're about to open the Marion Park market. Um, but basically what we were trying to do is bring energy and vitality to the school. This is my son, Zach. Um, he is in our after school program. We created this really robust fee for service this community school model. Essentially, the idea is instead of throwing 700 kids out into the universe every day, which makes no sense whatsoever, we invite uh, 50 different instructors into the school, and they all come and teach their um, craft. In terms of academics, we often get this criticism. It's like, well, what happened to all the teachers? Well, a very strange thing happened. Um, I think the PC way to put it is the teachers who did not share our educational vision have since found suitable accommodation elsewhere. So many pesky eyes were around. Um, we, um, in terms of rebranding and repositioning the school, apparently you can rebrand and reposition the school as easy as cereal. Who knew? Um, in terms of fundraising, it took no money. Money is not the answer. We did this entire project on a budget of nothing. Um, and the answer is, is you can take tons more money and throw it into big black hole. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, people powered the Meadowhurst revolution. This did not happen with money. And I'm not saying no to money. Money helps. Money is great. I'm not saying no. But deep, mutually beneficial partnerships help. We often get the question of, is the Meadowhurst blueprint rep replicable? Um, I read a book about our experience and about how anybody could fix their own neighborhood school. And I really am trying to start a revolution right now. If everybody just fixed what was in their own backyard, we'd be done. We often get this criticism of, well, sure, this is gentrification. You get enough for sort of rich white motherfuckers in room, you're bound to have a great public school. Well, the answer is that's not true. Um, we look all across the country, there's a great school on one corner and a terrible school on the other. And the answer is why. And it's because about, it's about elbow grease. Um, I also get this criticism. This I heard from a, a, a female activist. It was so um, unbelievable. She said, I'm sure your school is great. And your mommy sounds great. And that all sounds great, 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 great. But until this project is brought to school, it really isn't germane to the public policy debate on education. And all I could say to this woman in this room full of uber, you know, respected um, policy ranks was, really? I thought women had already gone to scale. I thought mommies had already scaled that problem. Um, 
you know, we can change the world every day, and um, this is not rocket science. We're not building a nuclear reactor. This is not impossible stuff. And um, anybody who wants to help us in this project, I certainly would welcome your support. I blog on Twitter. Um, I have tons of cards here. You can throw out into the universe, and this is easy stuff, and this is our little window opportunity. So thanks. Thank you.